guys, Blue Eyes Lady 23 is here, and welcome to Mass Effect again. Uh, yeah, now we are going to finish up in Coruscant, and they call this a gentleman's club. It is not. Look at all of those enemies. Get ready for a firefight. Take cover. Enemy is everywhere. Yeah, and en enemies have quotes that they repeat on a very regular basis, so you can just leave it there. I did not cover you. I'm sorry. Marker's supposed to be... Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never liked good. this anyway. It would have been quicker no. to just kill them. Shooting people yeah. isn't always the answer. It may be for Rex, but it's not always for us. Anyway. I can override this if I screw it up. It's mainly what you want to use Omnigel for is if you screw up an override or for later repairing your repairing your freaking tank. Me, I surrender. Where's the quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the shadow broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location, now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god! The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people wow. died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. That Quarian yeah. is dead if we don't go now. But, before we do, 
take that steward this and crack the wall safe for some credits and some good stuff yeah what I just took was something that Emily needed we can come back and get it if Four minutes to go and get to Tali before. I'm on it. Lock the door. sprint really in the battle section. But it's not that hard to get there. Just open this door. Up these stairs. And down these. And then you get a cutscene. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. The ambassador's office. Okay. It's safe there. you will want to see this anyway. A couple of things. Krogan are warlike race that are actually sterile you're not making my life easy shepherd firefights in the wards an all-out assault on Cora's den do you know and how many Tali is a quarian quarians are quarian? tech based what are you up to shepherd with extremely weak immune systems that's why they wear the suit making your day ambassador she has information linking Saren to the geth really Maybe you better start at the beginning, miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Quarians are Why also migrants. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. What did you find out? Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This nope. proves he was involved in the attack. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. 
And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. No. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarry? <laughs> My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Yeah, she's... Thanks. You won't regret this. Tally's off. Henderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes so to collect yourself, do, then meet us in the tower. I am actually going to take Ta Ashley, and I'm going to take Tali. I'm... There's not going to be any combat in this section... It's just gonna be me doing a couple more missions, and then we'll be done. So much empty space. A yeah. thousand of my people could live here and hardly. Even There's see not very each many Quarians due to their weakened immune systems, and the ones that do survive, they all live on the flotilla, which is their migrant ships. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Yay. Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Nirali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. Yeah, you want to go over this, over here. That door opens. There's some stuff. That's Executor Palin's office, and this is the bar where you need to talk to this guy. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. Bullshit. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander! You of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I am out here fighting to stop crap like this. 
Bats. All right, Commander. Smart. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body Good. is being shipped back to Earth. And I get I'll go eight, now to see to it eight Paragon points there. This is one of those where you do want a lot of Paragon points. Because the first time I played this, I couldn't actually get his get the man's wife back. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness. Not the way I... But it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Samesh, I don't know if this helps, but your wife, Nirali, loved you very much. She missed your cooking. And she played recordings of you every night before she went to sleep. I, I've I never this done this with Ashley, so. But thank you. Um, if it's you don't bring you. Ashley and you bring Caden, Caden will say you should. Maybe we should have brought Ashley because it was her unit. And um, what I was saying before that is there is another way to get Garrus. You don't have to go to the med center. If you go straight to Korra's den right after getting Rex, that whole fight scene will take place. And Fist is dead, so we can go through here. But we need to go through here anyways, because we need to go talk to General Septimus. Bothering you, General. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my day. This is all the Milky Way. There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. Then why create yes, rumors Mr. and lies about this woman? Because she rejected me. Me! <laughs> Septimus Oraka, General of the Turian Fleet. I think I can see why you're upset, but spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Ha, <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. Yep. How did I let it come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? It would be more productive than sitting here. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. Yeah. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. <laughs> what makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? And that's and why where I said that guy was important his later. His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's the soldiers acting like soldiers. Yeah, probably Thanks, she just commander. Stays a commander you know, the whole time. You might make a good general or he, depending yourself on which one day. You're playing as. Uh, that girl's important later. I'm not gonna do her side quest right now because I don't feel like going. Because I don't need to go to Flux yet. Okay, I thought I just saw someone over here. I guess not. I'm like, fucking crazy. 
That doesn't surprise me in the slightest, though. Anyway. More market area. What else was I gonna do again? Alright, I was gonna go talk to... Oh yeah, this guy. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. If you I am so talk to him later, to he says something different. Nice to meet you. And you are? But I just, I'm just going to do this. My now. name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I spent most of my time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. This guy hey, uh, I know you're is, probably yeah. busy, but um, do you have this time for a quick autograph? This guy ends up driving you up the flipping wall. <laughs> Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be this so guy, impressed. This guy, yeah, that guy is going to drive you up the wall work. eventually. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks Ugh. again. Before I try to do that money making thing, I'm gonna actually message my friend and see how it works again. Besides, I need to fill it. <laughs> Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit. You get another mission for her later. I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should Help go her. see what's on these discs. Anyway, we're just gonna keep going now. Alright, it's the fucking elevator switch. There it is. One thing about Ashley, she's actually xenophobic. Why are Caden? Is not, and you'll, you're gonna hear me make Coming a lot. up in a report There's later today, to. Emily Wong investigates corruption this on the Citadel. Very and important. Uncovers a full blown crime syndicate. If you've played this game, you know why. If not, then I'm not gonna spoil it. And I ask that nobody else spoil it either. And if I sound really weird sometimes, it's because I'm not. I don't know. <laughs> Always aware of how my voice sounds, or usually not paying attention to it. Uh, there's Keeper in here. Dang. Um, over here is where you get something important a bit later. Over here as well. And now we're back. Gonna head back to the presidium. And now I can hear the stupid music. I've heard some humans are angry at the Quarians after the attack on Eden Prime. After all, you created the Geth. The Geth killed billions and forced us from our homeworld. Most yeah, Ashley is a little xenophobic. I don't think mistake. she's bothered by Tally as Hopefully, much, but she's not very fond of Garrus or Rex. Will change people's minds. And now we are back at the Presidium. I'm gonna go find a rapid transit, which there should be one like right nearby. There's also a keeper. Because I need to get over to the embassies. Those are the elevator. So 
no. Oh, hey! You want to go to the embassies first? be a lot of action in this part, at least fighting in this part. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. I've come to talk to you about your little problem. Curious. What do you know about the consort and her relationship to me? I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving, I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Not true. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to Good fathom. Time. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. Yes. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. No, we don't. You see, Din, not all humans like are as you say. Regardless of your attention. Yeah, I forgot that the Elcor talks. It keeps talking. And the last thing we're going to do in this video is we're going to go over to the consort chambers and talk to Shaira. And I'm not going to walk because I'm lazy. Allow me to be your get back here. Septimus has sent word. Apparently he sought the consort's forgiveness. That's right. It was a long time ago, though. And we can go talk to Shaira. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Elcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect like you to help gift. me out it's of the kindness pretty cool. of your heart. It's pretty cool. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through, proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. 
In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. If you choose not I've to accept her gift of words, this, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. You can get a sex scene. And now I must ask you to leave. I will say that. I much. have done everything I can for you. Um. Okay, I said that was going to be the last thing words. we're going to do, and it is going to be the last story-related thing we're going to do. I'm just going to get us over to Citadel Tower. Because I don't feel like opening with us going on the rapid transit. So, while we watch this lovely scene, this has been Blue Eyes Light Lady 23, and this is the end of the video. See you next time!